Hey everyone, welcome to a new video on this channel. My name is Martin, I'm with Bird Spider CH. And today is a little special episode because as you can see, we're not in a rainforest somewhere in South or Southeast Asia or South America. We're uh, in Southern Africa this time. We're in the country of Namibia. And it's actually just one episode for this whole country because I've already spent two weeks here with my family and friends. And yeah, I didn't really find the time to search for tarantulas and spiders. So what I was thinking is I just show you the tarantula I found here last year. And you are may thinking why you have not shown it us already. Well, that's the case because I was not sure if I should already release some footage from last year. So it's the time now. I'm showing you the amazing surroundings here we have in Namibia. Around now we are in the Waterberg Plateau. It's a national park, actually, private reserve. And there are yeah different mammals you can find here. There is a big black rhino on top of the plateau. And also some leopards are hunting the area here. So what we are going to do is, I'm just showing you some footage of a tarantula I found here last year. And of course also show you some nice surroundings here. Um, yeah, the country itself is amazing. And actually we just start with the trailer of our two weeks. Um, yeah, searching for big game, big animals. And let's just roll it right now. Just wandering around in this area is uh, just so exhausting. We have around 35 degrees during the day. It's now around uh, 3 p.m. and uh, I already turned a lot of rocks already, but uh, did not find anything, just a few scorpion molds. And I will release this footage in a separate video for all of those who would like to get more impressions about decorating and uh, designing their own enclosures back at home. So, talking about Ceratogyrus, it's a species which is known for their big horns in tarantulas. And actually, other tarantulas from South America also do have such like horn structures on the carapace. But Ceratogyrus is of course the one which is most famous for their horns in tarantulas. So, the footage I just show you now is uh, near this area the Waterberg Plateau and that's actually an extremely small specimen. It was around 2.5 centimeters in body length and uh, yeah we did find it underneath a rock and it was pure luck because usually you need a lot of manpower here in this area and that's potentially the reason uh, the best uh, opportunity now to yeah show some respect to all the field workers who are conducting research on African tarantulas, such as, of course, Richard Gallen and also the South African team from Dimitri Kambas and Ian Engelbrecht from Tarantopedia. Just look at this. It's so difficult. It's just extre extreme. It's just extreme. And uh, yeah, you need a lot of manpower. And of course, you also need a lot of yeah, resources to get from spot to spot and then of course turn all the rocks until you find uh, the specimen so that you know that you're in the right area. Yeah, speaking of right area, 
you only know when you're in the right area when you already found a tarantula. So as you saw in previous episodes and especially in this episode, there's so many rocks to turn. And what you can see on the picture is basically the underneath part of a rock we just put away and then we found this burrow with silk which is like 90-90% uh, from a tarantula and then because it was so dry and the burrow was so deep we decided to pull water down the burrow uh, so in the hope that we actually get to see a leg or a pedipalp of the tarantula so we know that there is one inside and in the end it paid off so we just poured water down the burrow uh, then the specimen actually just moved on the yeah top part but very slow now that we have to use a small stick and to get it out very gently it was not aggressive or defensive at all and was also not hungry so there was no chance to imitate a cricket or tickling the specimen out so totally different you saw was sitting on the stick and then later on we just placed the juvenile specimen on the ground to take some pictures and of course some videos they're awesome looking tarantulas and i especially like these many dots and geometric figures on the opistosoma so nice to look at uh, a lot of harpactirines have this kind of uh, special uh, look to it if you keep them as pet tarantulas just make sure they have a water dish you tend to dry out the enclosure more quickly especially if you don't have any plants so for all african uh, species i would personally give them a water dish because yeah most of the people just keep them way too dry just remember underneath rocks there is always a microclimate because the sun does not evaporate any moisture from it in normal 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 days uh, so if you keep them make sure you keep the enclosure more more moist more wet or just offer them a water dish so they always have their internal uh, water fluid going in the right direction and of course offer them some food as well so if you're interested in baboon spider footage you should also go over to worldofspiders.com there's also a YouTube channel from Philip Samadi. He has traveled South Africa and Namibia and has spent quite a lot of time in the field and also has a lot of pictures from Harpactirine from this area. So Pterinochilus, Harpactira, Ceratogyrus, Augacephalus, you all are going to find uh, specimen pictures of these species on his website. So make sure you check it out. And yeah, in the meanwhile, let's just walk around and I show you some detailed footage of these scrub bushes with all these thorns look at it it's just just crazy so see you then Just as a small reminder for all of those who don't know, we do have a Patreon page where you can donate to our work here. Yeah, I know it's not like asking for money or anything, but uh, it would help a lot. Uh, it would also help a lot that we know that you're supporting the idea of yeah, getting to know more about tarantulas. We don't really use your money for funding future field trips. It's all privately funded, but uh, we use the money for research. So research meaning that we collaborate with uh, people from other countries to like get some projects up and running, especially from South America. So the money you pledge on Patreon, I'll leave a link somewhere up here, goes all into this uh, research fund we have. And there we can of course uh, also show you then the outcome of the projects and uh, the results. So that's just, a short reminder that there is an option like this. Thank you. So 
that's it guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this episode make sure you subscribe to the channel and also of course watch all other videos we have about tarantulas in the wild it's always a pleasure oh there are animals see there are small like antelopes behind there yeah anyway that was not planned at all yeah so anyway that was not planned at all but of course if you're in the field there are always animals roaming around so again thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to us. Uh, it means that you actually enjoy watching our content and we do create more than if you yeah, subscribe and also like the video. Make sure you share it and also it would be great. It would be awesome if you watch through all our older videos from Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Chile. We have so many tarantulas in the wild field clips on our channel. So. That would be amazing and also spread the world and yeah, show these clips to everyone who enjoys tarantulas so you can yeah, get to know how they live in the wild and maybe yeah, create a nice living space for them. Once we're back in Switzerland, of course, we will also cover some tarantula documentaries on how we keep them as pet tarantulas. Uh, that's maybe something for you as well. Thanks for that and hopefully see you guys very soon. Cheers! <laughs>